Thank you so much for joining me for this video. Today, we are going to take a sequence or a type of movement that I've been calling yoga sculpt. So what it is, is yoga-based postures and flow combined with some simple reps in our movement and maybe even occasionally some weights included in on those reps. But just like we do in our vinyasa classes, everything will flow into the next posture. So we'll be able to find that rhythm and that movement and really focus on those transitions, just like we do in our vinyasa classes. If you've got a nice light pair of weights, I recommend three pounders. Um, you could definitely go for it with five. If it starts to be too much, let them go. If you don't have weights, you are always welcome to fill up a couple water bottles. Those are gonna give you about a pound, about a pound each, which will be pretty nice. Or you can do the whole sequence without the weights at all. That is not a problem. If you've got them, just go ahead and set them right at the top of your mat. We will get to them, I pinky promise. Otherwise, we are gonna come to a nice, easy seat just to get rolling. Give yourself a big, full breath in down to your belly button and all the way up and out your mouth like a sigh. Good, two more just like that. Big breath in and out. Last one, inhale and exhale. Good, inhale, we're gonna stretch our arms up overhead. Take your right hand, loop your left wrist, pull up and over to the right. And then come on back to the middle. Flip your grip and head to the left. Good, we'll drop back to center. We're gonna let this right hand come to our shirt tab. Your left hand can come up and over for that top elbow and hug it in. Or it can come down and around, maybe finding your fingertips behind you for a Govakasana or cow face arm. We're gonna add our neck into the mix by twisting our nose to the right and then sending it to the ceiling. Good, bring your chin back to center, keeping your spine as flat as you can, hinge forward. And come all the way back up, good. Release those arms, and we're gonna switch up, cartwheeling around. Finding that grip if you've got it, if not, right hand can hug in at your elbow. Good. Rotating our gaze all the way to the left, and then up to the sky. And we'll bring that chin back to center, gently hinge forward. Try to keep your neck as long as you can here. Keep your back straight and strong and your elbows staying in line with the tip top of your head. We'll come on back to center, we'll let that go. And find a couple shoulder rolls. Good, we're gonna swing around, take a tabletop or all fours. Palms come under shoulders, knees under hips, and give yourself just a couple cat cow tilts. Inhale, lift through the elbow and neck. Exhale, around. We're gonna take four more just like that. Inhale, the opening front body. And exhale to open your back body. And give me two more. We'll come back to center. We're gonna take some work or some movement from down dog to plank. So on our inhale, we're gonna draw shoulders over wrists, find the top of your plank. Exhale, press it up and back. Take that a few more times. Inhale, coming forward, straightening out. Exhale, hinging from hips and shoulders. Take two more. Good, toes are gonna come tight into center. And our right heel is gonna come high to the sky for a three-legged job. 
Try to keep your pinky toe pointing down, finding a straight line from wrist to ankle if you can. And give yourself some baby pulses or micro movements. Driving that heel to the sky. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Good, these right toes are gonna come up between your thumbs. Back knee and heel stay lifted. We're gonna reach for those hand weights if we've got them and draw up tall to our crescent lunge. So wrists are over shoulders, over hips. Right knees bent, back legs straight. Find your strength right here. And we're gonna offer ourselves some lunges and some hammer curls. So taking a deep breath in. On our exhale, we're gonna bend our knees, draw elbows and wrists down, and then come on back up. Good. So that's three. We're gonna do 10. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Good. Send those arms straight back and take some baby pulses. So hinge your heart forward. Again, finding that long straight line from heel to head. And our triceps just engage as we kick those hands back. Strong and steady. We're going to take 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. We're going to bring our hands down to the mat. They can stay in your weights if that's fine with you. But we're gonna kick our weight forward into that front leg and find a standing split, left leg long. Again, pinky toe stays down to the floor. And we're gonna find those pulses again with our heels, stretching it up. Breathe into it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good, lower your toes down to the mat and land in a great big forward fold. Make sure you can shake your head yes and no. You can wiggle your knees. You can shift your weight forward and back or left and right. From here, we're gonna give a little drop to our hips and come on up to a chair pose. Beautiful. Wrist shoot straight out of our shoulders. We're gonna bring our hands to touch. On this spin, so you can see, we're gonna take some twisting chairs. So dig deep breath right here. And then on your exhale, we're gonna to twist to the right. Inhale, bring it up. Twist to the left. Good. We got four more. Last set. Good, come back to that chair. This time send your fingertips down to the ground. Take some reverse rows, drawing up and back. Keep your belly button drawn in tight. Your elbows head to the ceiling behind you. That's five and we've got five more. Perfect, inhale stretches us up tall. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. Drop those weights, sink down. Inhale, lift it up halfway. And exhale, plant your palms, walk it back to a downward facing dog. And then lower your knees down to the mat your tabletop and sit back into a child's pose. Give me three big breaths right here. Good, inhale, we're gonna drop back into that tabletop. From here, we're gonna tuck our toes, hips come high to the sky. 
We're gonna find those down dog planks again. Inhale brings it forward, high plank or push up. Exhale, take it back. Give me two more just like that. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Good, adding on, inhale, we're gonna draw to the top. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Untuck your toes, press up into your cobra or up dog. And exhale, bring it back to your down dog. Good, take a few more, inhale forward. Exhale down, inhale, press the mat away. Exhale, bring it back. We're gonna take three more just like that. Inhale forward, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Last two. And last one. Coming into that down dog, our toes are going to come a little tighter to center. This time, left heel high to the sky. Stay strong in that three-legged dog and pulse your heel up. We've got five, four, three, two, one. Good. Draw your toes up between your thumbs. Back knee and heel stays lifted. We're going to grab onto those hand weights and come up to a crescent. Good. Strong in your back leg, in through your front leg. Square everything to the top edge of your mat. We're going to take those lunges. So we're lowering knees, elbows, and wrists. And then bringing it back up. We've got eight more on this side. Four more, think of smooth, steady movement. Exhaling the lower, inhale the lift. Last one. Good, sitting back into that lunge. Again, we're gonna tip our weight forward. This time, shoot your arms past your hips, and we're gonna take that pulse into center, like you were trying to clap. We got 10 more. I know that front leg is screaming for five. Four, three, two, one. Good. Forward pull. Tap your weight forward. And that back leg or right leg comes high to the sky into a standing split. Keep your belly button folded over to your thigh and take those pulses at the top. Eight more. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good toes lower down. Find that big fold. Pedal your knees, shake your head. Lengthen and contract your belly. Whatever feels good here, whatever helps you release those hips. And we're gonna drop our hips back down into a chair. Inhale, lift your heart. We're coming for those tricep twists again, so hands come together. This time we're going to add a rep. So we're going to go back and up and twist and up. Back and up and twist and up. Good, four more sets. Keep that little bend in your knees. Deep in your chair if that's okay for you. Bring those wrists right about shoulder level. 
That's number five. We've got five more. Last one. Good. Forward fold. Lose those weights. Inhale. Lift it halfway. Exhale. Plant your palms. Walk back to your down dog. We're going to stretch it out by sending our right heel high to the sky. And then open it up. Knee bends and points to the ceiling, torso twists to the right. And bring it back down the middle. And send that left heel high, open it up. And we'll come on back through the center. Drop your knees down to the mat. Take your knees as wide as the mat toes together and find a child's pose. Arms stretch long, forehead and elbows rest down. And your hands can stay forward, or they can bring palms to touch and bring your thumbs to the back of your head for a tricep stretch. Give me five more deep breaths right here. Come forward, we're going to sit up on our heels, bring your knees together, interlace those fingers, stretch your knuckles down to the floor behind you and lift your chin. And then bow it forward, letting knuckles come to the sky. So a bound child's pose right here. One more big breath. And bring it on back up. Good. Release around. We're going to take a pigeon on each side. So coming to a seat, right ankle crosses left knee, press into it. The closer you get your chest line to your shin, and the closer you get your heel to your booty, the deeper that stretch is going to be. Take one more big breath. And we're going to switch sides. Try to release your hips, release your throat and jaw. 